609 right now. It is World Blood Donor Day. You can help us raise awareness and save lives by taking part in the summer blood drive, which kicked off just a few minutes ago right outside the Channel 2 studios. Haley is there at the donation site to tell us more. Hello. Good morning, Owen. So I have run outside. This is how close we are to the studios. I am now inside of the, um, of the... Uh, Sorry, I'm hearing my voice on the TV at the same time because they're watching Channel 2 in here. So we are, uh, this is where you're going to be coming to donate blood. You're going to be coming in through the visitor center at um, the KPRC studios in the south, off the Southwest Freeway. We start at 6 a.m. this morning. And I do have someone with me today, someone very important, Sheena. Um, uh, we want you to explain to us just why this is so important um, for people to want to come out here and donate blood. Sure, we really appreciate it. It means so much to me. It's a personal thing when people donate blood because my son Ezra, when he was 15 months old, he got a rare disease called Kawasaki disease and it had to be treated quickly and the treatment involves blood donations and platelets. And because people choose to give regularly, they go out of their way to do this, that treatment was ready for him um, and that's why he's here today and he's back he was back to Aww. his happy playful self so quickly because there are such generous people out there yeah well he sweet boy he's a little shy now i guess because of the camera but he's he's normally pretty energetic yeah oh yeah he's just back to himself because that's of this so treatment wonderful. that's so wonderful and what would have happened if he didn't get blood donations i have family members in other places that they didn't have the same access to these treatments and they had to wait longer it took longer to get the treatment and they were sweating bullets they eventually yeah got it but just that convenience and being able to bounce back so quickly and that peace of mind is so important so that condition that he has is it genetic and your is it run in your family yeah, it tends to run um, in in certain cultures more prevalently and they still don't know a lot about the disease he has to be monitored but I'm just glad there's you know he can there's not restrictions on his life because of people who give right yeah because there could have been yes Ezra say hi do you want to say anything to people at home? I'm going to say thank you. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you guys in advance for everybody who plans to come out here. It will help save lives like Ezra's. Um, you know, so many people have personal stories about this. And one one person donating could save potentially up to three lives. I talked to a woman just this week who said she knows she got blood donations from over 25 donors. So it is always needed every single day right here in Houston, where we have the largest medical center in the world. So we ask for your generosity today and come on out here to the KPRC studios. We'll be here until three o'clock. Back to you guys in the studio. Beautiful story and uh, sweet boy there. Haley, thank you.